So Tony, uh, can you tell us a little bit about yourself, uh, how you get into the music business and, you know, when? Well, I've always been a big fan of the 70s and disco and dance music. And I bought drum machines early on, little drum machines and little synthesizers. And I just started playing around, fiddling around, and I realized I have a knack for this. And my family was like, wow, you know, you're amazing. So I just started making demos, and to make a long story short, back in the mid-80s, I sent my demos down to Bobby Orlando in New York, the disco producer who produced Divine, the Pet Shop Boys, the Flirts, Ronnie Griffith, and Bobby loved my demos. And to make a long story short, I came down to New York in the mid-80s, I worked for Bobby Orlando for quite a few years, and I made 500 amazing dance songs with Bobby Orlando, released quite a few of them. And in the mid-90s, I joined Marina and became an entertainment group. And Marina and I produced 500 songs also on that end. So, uh, Tony, um, what have you been doing lately for the last few years? The last few years, I met Mark Kolodinsky from Space on Records. And he releases high energy and more space sound, more 80s Italo style. And he asked me to start submitting uh, music to him. And then, I also met, through Mark, Ian with 80s TV, and then I got to meet the incredible TQ. And I was making demos, and I ended up working on uh, Let's Go to Tokyo with TQ. We ended up working together on a remake of Danger by the Flirts. And we currently have many projects that are also in the works too, but you guys have to stay tuned and watch because they'll be coming soon. And you just have to watch and find out. Great. Thank you.